can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle with the side length of ln x, ln of 2x, and ln of 3x, wherein x is a real number, then our goal is to find the value of x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. So, given this right triangle with the side length of ln x, ln of 2x, and ln of 3x, then our goal is to find the real value of x that satisfies this right triangle. Now, of course, to answer this kind of question, we will use the Pythagorean theorem, wherein we have here a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, we will use this concept to answer this question. So using the Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle, we can say that ln x raised to the power of 2 plus ln of 2x raised to the power of 2 equals ln of 3x raised to the power of 2. Now, at this point, we will use some laws of logarithm. I mean properties of logarithm. And to be specific, we will use the product rule. Now it says that logarithm of x times y to the base of a it must be equal to logarithm of x to the base of a plus logarithm of y to the base of a. Now in this case, we have here ln in the base of e, but we will use the same property as the common logarithm. All right, so ln of 2x raised to the power of 2, we can simplify this or we can expand this into ln of 2 plus ln of x raised to the power of 2. And this ln of 3x Using this property, we can write this as ln of 3 plus ln of x. Now, if we want to expand this, to simply expand this, we will use this identity. If we have a plus b raised to the power of 2, it must be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if we do that, we get ln of 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 times ln of 2 times ln of x plus ln of x raised to the power of 2. And also, we will use this expansion to the right-hand side of our equation. And if we do that, we get ln of 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 times ln of 3 times ln of x plus ln of x raised to the power of 2. Now, let's simplify this equation. Notice that we can cancel out this positive ln of x raised to the power of 2 on the left-hand side and positive ln of x raised to the power of 2 on the right hand side so if we subtract ln x raised to the power of 2 on both sides all right so this is just zero now what we're going to do is to focus on this equation and then let's equate this to zero like this and then notice that here on the middle term we have a common factor of 2 times ln x 2 times ln x, so we can factor out 2 times ln x to this term. And if we do that, we get 2 times ln x multiplied by ln of 2 minus ln of 3. And also, we have here ln of 2 raised to the power of 2 minus ln of 3 raised to the power of 2. So we can use the difference of 2 squared to factor this out. Because if we have a squared minus b squared, it must be equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So this expression we can factor this out as follows we have ln of 2 minus ln of 3 multiplied by ln of 2 plus ln of 3 now again we will use this identity this property if we have logarithm of x to the base of a plus logarithm of y to the base of a we can simply rewrite this as a product form or logarithm of x times y to the base of a so this logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3, we can simplify this as logarithm ln of 2 times 3, or simply this is just ln of 6. Now, we can use the quotient rule, of course. So if we have minus sign, this becomes division. So ln of 2 minus ln of 3, this becomes ln of 2 divided by 3. We also do this in this ln of 2 minus ln 3. So this is just ln of 2 over 3. Now, this equation 
is something to do with a quadratic equation because if we let t be equal to ln of x, so all of this ln x becomes t, so this will give us t squared plus 2 times ln of 2 over 3 times t plus ln of 2 over 3 times ln of 6 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation in terms of t. So we can solve this. We can solve the value of t using the quadratic formula. So let's do that. So t must be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, wherein a is the coefficient of t squared, which is 1. So a here must be equal to 1. So we can replace all a with 1. And then the value of b must be the coefficient of variable t, which is 2 times ln of 2 over 3. So let's replace all this b with 2 times ln of 2 over 3 this and the last one this c which is the constant term so in this case we have ln of 2 over 3 multiplied by ln of 6 so we can replace the c with its value now let's simplify this to get the value of t all right so 2 multiplied by ln of 2 over 3 to the power of 2 we can write this as 4 because 2 squared is 4 multiplied by 2 ln of 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2. Now, notice that we have a common factor of 4. So if we factor out 4, and square root of 4 must be equal to 2. So we can rewrite this as 2 times square root of ln of 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2 minus ln of 2 over 3 times ln of 6. And then we can actually cancel out, this eliminate this 2, factors of 2 on the numerator and factors of 2 on the denominator. So this will give us the value of t as follows, negative of ln of 2 over 3 plus or minus square root of ln of 2 over 3 to the power of 2 minus ln of 2 over 3 multiplied by ln of 6. And also, take note that we have a common factor right over here of ln of 2 over 3. We can factor this out. And again, we can use this quotient rule to simplify ln of 2 over 3 minus ln of 6. This is just ln of 2 over 3 multiply by 1 over 6 or divided by 6 so this is just ln of 2 over 18 and we can simplify this because we can divide this by 2 and we can divide this by 2 so this is just ln of 1 over 9 all right and um take note that this t we don't want the value of t we want the value of x so let's replace this t with its equivalent which is ln of x now take note that ln of x is the side length of our right triangle so meaning ln of x cannot be a negative number or this number must be greater than zero to make a legit right triangle but in this case we have two possible values of ln x we have positive or a negative now we can now disregard this negative value of ln x because here ln x must be greater than 0. So the legit value of ln x must be equal to negative of ln of 2 over 3 plus square root of ln of 2 over 3 multiplied by ln of 1 over 9. And that is the value of ln x. But again, our goal is the value of x, not ln x. Therefore, to get the value of this x, we need to convert this logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. And to do that, if we have logarithm of y to the base of a equals x, this can be written in an exponential form as a raised to the power of x equals y. So using this, we can also solve for the value of x. Because take note, the base here is e. Therefore, the value of x must be equal to e raised to the power of negative ln of 2 over 3 plus square root of ln of 2 over 3 multiplied by ln of 1 over 9. And that is the legit value of x that satisfies this right triangle. And as always, we are done.